Yeah, it's a good one. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Oh. Alright guys, so I've got to be quiet, I've just woken up, we've got people asleep in the house, but the first thing I want to do this morning is do a weigh-in, so that's what we're going to do right now. So that's that guys. I don't know what the title of this video is going to be, but it's going to be something to do with me weighing the lightest I've weighed in like literally. Last time I was, I was 97.5 kgs after being in this bulk for about two months, which would mean that was about October and we're on the, well what's the date today? The 30th of June. So November, December. Eight months, nine months. I'd say nine months. It's been nine months since I've been this light. So uh, that's exciting times, man. I can't wait. I can't wait to get fucking lean. I'm feeling I am depleted right now. The last couple of days I've probably been averaging 1,500 to 2,000 calories. Now the reason I've done that is because I can. Um, you know, I felt good enough to go to sleep uh, without gorging myself like I would normally do after intermittent fasting the first you know 12 14 hours of any day yeah, right now I'm feeling really good I'm about to go down to the post office I think I've got a an order of some supplements and some um, protein bars and things like that so I'm gonna go and get that and I'll bring it back and show you guys what we got so we've got two more days of this week of dieting and then that'll make uh, 28 days whether I decide to stop there or keep going, I, I have decided I'm going to keep going, I'm going to keep cutting for now. I'll probably, I don't think it will go longer than eight weeks, but like I said in a previous video, I want to get to the end of this series in the best shape of my fucking life. So that's the plan. We've probably got about 40 days to go, so what's that? That's probably another, yes, six weeks. So that's the plan might make a, a 10 week cut altogether, something like that. Um, so yeah, feeling, feeling pretty motivated. But like I said, I am feeling depleted. Like if I went in, if I went in eight, a thousand grams of carbs right now and like two, three liters of water, well, we'd be back over a hundred, wouldn't we? First thing in the morning is always the time you want to take, you know, measurements, you want to take weights because that means that you can keep it constant uh, going forward. And that's the main thing. So with that being said, I'm going to go to the post office and I'll see you guys shortly. Nick Minnett. Yeah. We got it. Yes. That's all I can say. But we also got Qantas frequent flyers. Some bullshit. City of Gold Coast. Inspection of rented premises located at 311 Secondary Street, Upper Coomera. Apparently, if my tenant in my property in the Gold Coast wants a, uh, what is it? A internal assessment of your rental accommodation, should you wish, maintain standards of public health and safety within rental accommodation. Um, well, I'm not gonna do anything, so if my tenant wants that, they can, they can apply for it. I think they got sent the same letter as I did. And this one is Westpac. And I tell you what, guys, Westpac, any bank, they're fucking corrupt, mate. They just want to get you in more debt because regardless of my payment history on my credit card, no, I've never been in a, re like, I've never freaking had it cancelled on me or anything, but it hasn't been fully paid off since I got it, which was literally like five or six years ago. Yet they still want to offer me extensions on the credit limit to 16 grand. And I'm just like, no mate, I'm not gonna fucking do that. I don't need it. I'll pay cash. Anyways, all oh, right. Do I open it here? 
Can I wait? I don't think I can. Mmm, fuck. Yes, I can. <laughs> she is. Look at her. She looks beautiful, doesn't she? Also, in other news, what looks beautiful is all my shoes. So obviously you guys know that I'm moving out. Well, when push comes to shove, you got to start getting things ready, right? So these are all my shoes, guys, including two brand new pairs that have never seen the light of day. But anyways, Yeah, yeah. All right. That's all right. So, being that I'm on a diet right now, if you guys don't know, now you do. PB2. It's an absolute. It's an absolute winner in my books, to be honest. Basically, what it is, it's powdered peanuts to take out all of the fat and leave the protein. And I think that it might add a little bit of sugar in there. I'm not sure, but basically. Two tablespoons of peanut butter, effectively. 45 calories, one gram of fat. Like literally, they, they, they must press out all of the fat. Um, six grams of carbs, four grams of protein. So, as far as peanut butter goes, I, I have been eating it probably, you know, most days, a little bit, on like a piece of toast or something like that. This is what I'll be using going forward. And we've got one, what's this one? That's just peanut, peanuts, peanut butter, and this one's got cocoa in it, so it's peanut butter chocolate, which is fucking delicious. So we've got those two. We've got the multivitamin from Animal Pack. Now these are pretty <laughs> decently sized sort of packs, so you'll take one of these a day which is, I think, 11 tablets, and it's, uh, you know, it's basically a potent multi multivitamin. And for, you know, people that really are taking a multivitamin for the benefits, you don't want to go to a freaking supermarket and get Optimum or something like that. Like, you want something that's actually going to cover all your bases, and this one is definitely one of those. You know, $2 a day, $2 a day is not too bad, I don't think, um, to cover all your bases as far as vitamins go. But anyways, we've got that. As well as that, I've got some vitamin D. So now I have both vitamin C and vitamin D in tablet form, and I'll be taking both of them. Um, I'm not saying I don't get any sunlight, but I could probably do with some more. And so that is going to be part of my uh, supplement regime. And as well as that, we've got the thing I've been looking forward to the most, I'm not going to lie, and that is Power Crunch Bars. So if you're a fan of Christian Guzman or you've been around the fitness industry for long enough, you've probably heard of these, and they're fucking good. Although, there's a reason why they're so good, and it's because they've got 13 grams of fat per bar. But, uh, as well as that, they've got 10 grams of carbs, which is relatively low, and 13 grams of protein. So, each bar is around 200 calories. Uh, I've got triple chocolate. And we've got peanut butter cream. And, uh, <laughs> I can't wait to eat them. So, anyways... That's the supplement hole, guys. That's it. That's all we've got today. Um, yeah, happy, man. So, uh, until, until next time, guys. Have a great day, won't you? I'll try. We're all about positive vibes here, guys. So, uh, let's keep that going. And I will see you guys 
in the next video, I don't know when it will be, but we're approaching 5,000 subs and there's one video, one special video that I've, I've always wanted to do. You know, I've, I, I, <laughs> I said I was going to do it at 1,000 subs, but it never happened. So we're going to do a question and answer video, guys. If, if you've made it to the end of this video and you want to ask me a question for that 5,000 sub uh, question and answer video, put it in the comment section below. If not, I'm going to make a specific video asking for you guys questions. It's not going to be a long one. Um, so look out for that when we hit 5,000 subs and uh, yeah, can't wait. Should happen pretty soon, but you can never, you know, you can never guarantee these things. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.